What's your interest level in the game tonight? Are you watching, getting a group together, or anything like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be watching. Um, I think me and a couple guys will watch. This should be an interesting game. Uh, personally, we don't care who wins. I mean, they both present challenges. Play Northern, they're top ranked team. We're on the top 15 team. You play Toledo, which is like a team that we already played this year. So both can, both can be a good game for us. So hopefully, we can just meet them in the championship game. Does the team look like it's practicing well, like it's ready to, to play a game before the big game? Yeah, I, I haven't seen the drop off yet. Uh, practice has always been tough, especially this year, because we play against our defense, who our defense is like the best practice defense. Uh, I tell them that like, like the best practice defense I've ever played against in my life in three years. So the defense is uh, always challenging. So the drop off has never been much. We don't have bad practices like Coach said. We just go out there and do what we need to do and prepare for our opponent. Um, they play some different looks. Um, Coach said they simplified the last game, but before that they played some three down, some four down. They played some different, they have some different blitzes. Um, so the challenge is just schematically uh, being able to block all, a lot of looks and being able to adjust to many of the different things they'll try to throw at us. So that's been the most difficult thing about Eastern. Bruce, Stephen, what are the Watch more film, get caught up in studying. I mean, is there, you know, we know that you know, the coaches don't care for it as much because of the team that they have to do. Um, in terms of studying, yeah, we get more like a day off. If I'm not asleep, we don't study. <laughs> so, yeah, so the extra day off actually does help. Uh, we get to rest up and you can go watch more film. Uh, so the coaches get us the game plan a little sooner so we can know what we're looking for or what we're looking at in the film. So film become more purposeful for us over the week. Um, I feel good. Everybody challenges where they send, like, you would think that we play our defense so much that we should be able to predict. They throw sort of like a new wrinkle in there like every week for us and it becomes more and more difficult. And I tell them like that's, that's just unfair to us. Uh, they say they don't scout our offense and I'm starting to doubt that. Really starting to doubt that. But uh, yeah, everybody just plays hard. So it's like, it's like transfers us as well. Like it prepares us well for the game because everybody challenges one another. So that's why I say that. And I mean, when, you, when you're facing the scout team, are there guys, I mean, this is Scouting future Falcons for us. I mean, who are who are guys that have your attention on the scouting? Okay, the most surprising guy so far has been this guy Gus Swagman. Uh, he's a walk on, and he's been playing really well actually as a D line tackle for us. Um, numerous linebackers. We got uh, Bartman, Patrick Hannon, um, Terrence Bush. Uh, all them guys. All of them just play hard. Like I, it's probably the most competitive scout team we had since I've been here. Like everybody goes hard. Every, I haven't seen like. Down. 